you're going stir crazy like many of us or homeschooling like me, then this video is for you and there is a welcome break to be had on Instagram with beloved Boogie Down Productions DJ D Nice. I saw you there. I saw you there. I saw you there. I saw you there. Record breaking a hundred thousand people on an Instagram live listening to a DJ at a virtual house party. I did the story on Sunday night, but I only have 5,000 followers. Gail King did the story Monday morning and she's got 32 million followers. So her story was more successful. So we're going to do a reaction video to it. Haterade anyone? <laughs> My name is Lisa. Welcome to Carter Z. Please be sure you do the housekeeping, the most important thing you'll ever do, and the best decision you'll ever make. Bing! Subscribe to Carter Z. Come on in, tell a neighbor, tell a friend. That means share this video. Then my sister hit me up one day and was like, I'm going to a virtual house party. Wish me luck. And I was like, I'd already been there. Oh, yeah, it's a stone cold party. So, this epidemic has become a means to social interacting, but how? Through social media. So all us micro influencers already know that, but Instagram and DJ Nice took it to a new level and Gail King ran the story this morning on Good Morning America. And we are doing that together right now. So let's hear what she had to say. Okay. I'm your host, Lisa. Thank you for coming to Carter Z. Gail looking some gorgeous right as now. always. Guarantee this story is going to make you smile and don't we all need some of that right now. Thank you legendary DJ D Nice. He's determined to bring a dance party well, I'll go to this everybody way. at home. D Nice is hosting a daily event that he calls Homeschool at Club Quarantine. <laughs> Yesterday more than 160,000 people joined him on Instagram Instagram live on a Sunday. She can talk about it. Guess why? She was at the house party, club quarantine. She was at club quarantine. I saw MC Light at club quarantine. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. Let's, let's see what else she has to say. Yes, it started out at 105,000 people. Saturday night, it hit 100,000 K. On Sunday night, he got it to 105,000. And I heard he closed the night with 170,000 people. Big Daddy Kane was there. You saw him. Cutie patootie, easy on the eyes. Okay, let's see what else Gail has to say. Joe Biden. Oprah's in there. Mary J. Blige. I'm sure he started to blush. He was probably floored right there in the live. Like, yo, what is happening here? So on his Instagram right here, you can see the picture. He actually thanked everybody for coming. Um, he's determined to bring joy to us all, which is what I talked about. Micro influencers work on doing that every day on social media, but he brought it to us through music. Let's see. First on, there he is on CBS this morning. Hi, Derek Jones, also known as D-Nice. Ain't mad at the white t-shirt. 80s in the house, 89, Mary J. Blige. Yes, we are in need of a party and we can't all get together at the club and you know how they act at the club. So why not go to a virtual house party? That is what we're doing every day as YouTubers. We're bringing you joy every day through different types of content. So shout out to D. Nice. We love him. We thank him. And shout out to Gail for being there, but for actually doing this story. Let's see what else they have to say. got out of my bed and was just dancing around the room <laughs> in my t-shirt it was so much fun people started calling why don't we have video of that yeah. I, just, <laughs> I, I decided to keep public humiliation to a minimum but this is the thing i started calling people they go we're watching we're watching so where did this idea come from derek and how do you decide the set list it was so great saturday night so i was at i was at home i'm self-isolating so just sitting here and I realized outside of just missing my family, 
that the, the other most important thing to me was the crowd, like DJing for people. And I woke up at four o'clock in the morning and just decided I wanted to throw a party. And, and it was supposed to just be for my friends, you know, just a few friends on Instagram. And then it turned into, and I was literally just playing music from my laptop. And Word. the next day I, I hooked up the turntables and then I noticed that the crowd started to grow. John Legend was in there. You can't just invite some. If you invite some, you gotta invite all. And when you invite all, the jewels come. <laughs> Aggie jewels, shout out to the Aggie jewels. No, look at the hat. That hat, that's a real hat. Let's see what else here. You don't, you don't care about my thoughts. And, you know, I called Dave Chappelle up and he, he jumped in live. And then the next day, J Lo came and Drake arrived. And, and then that Saturday John night Legend. Party was like everything. It was like everyone was there. I know. What surprised you the most? You seem to get very J -Lo, excited. Dave when Chappelle, you said, not the name drop. Zuckerberg is joined. You could see how surprised that you, you seem to get a big <laughs> kick out of that. I thought that was kind of funny too. But Mark Zuckerberg likes music, he likes to play. No, I love that part. When Mark jumped in, it was just exciting. I, the part that, that touched me the most was, you know, I put in a call to see if I could get, you know, the former first lady in there. And Gail you know, looks I, good. I wasn't sure. And the moment that she popped in, I, I just froze. And it's not like <laughs> I haven't DJ for it for before. I just froze up. I was like, I don't know what to play. And then <laughs> Our queen. Our number one queen, Michelle Obama, was there. And he's like, what should I play? Beyonce. The music faded, and I was like, oh, I know what she loves. She loves Beyonce. Let's play that. <laughs> yeah. It was awesome, though. It was awesome. Yeah. When, you look down and, when you look down and you see there's 160,000 people in the room, what do you think? I mean, I'm like, wow, this is like pretty much the equivalent of like two stadiums of people just listening to music and at that point you asked the question earlier about uh playlists i don't have a playlist i literally just play what feels good you know i wanted people to feel good i want the spirits to be lifted through music one an experience just, lifted through music one song at a time one song at a time yeah. and, and it was definitely happening that's why you had 160,000 tune in but what do you think it is about music that that people need right now i think i mean music has always been the great escape you know like you know, you can just feel good, you know, no matter what your problems are, you put on a good tune and it just takes you away. And I was trying to like do that through music, you know. And also what, what was what was great, it was that the people, the other component was that people were in a chat room and the beauty of it was it initially started with my friends all pretending that they were inside of a club. Like, hey, Will Packard would jump in like, hey, I'll meet you at the bar. Hey, <laughs> so let this person. And if you've ever come to my live, what do I always say? You're at the bar. Mix and mingle. This is virtual reality. If we can't get out, and there's several people with different lifestyles on YouTube, social media, chit chat, TikTok, wiki whack, that can't get out. This We are the outlet to provide them with entertainment. Music, song reviews, what have you. Comedy, kicking, eating with Bill Cosby, eating with B-Love, whatever. He hit it. He's validating what we're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Bring joy. Most of my joy does come through good music, especially when you get down to Frankie Beverly. Sorry, I digress. Let's see what he has to say. Not me. And it was just, the whole experience was fun. It wasn't just the, just the music. It was just the experience. The whole experience? It's kind of like. No foolery in there. It's for the grown and sexy. Escaping you know, what's going on today, just for a few hours. I know, and you are so used to playing to large crowds. How different was it? Because you're alone, too, when you're playing the music. Was it a weird feeling for you, too? I mean, the I guess the weird part was that my neighbors were complaining <laughs> that the music was too loud, and I, I understood. <laughs> but, but I'm like, if they only knew, I'm like, you know, uh, Gail King is in here. Michelle <laughs> Obama's in here. No, you, they game. should have been on also. The neighbors complaining. They should have been in the dang old live also. But let me just say this real quick. Is he married? No, nice. You were performing a public service, Derek. That's how I look at it. And part of the fun, too, was watching you change your hats. Throughout the evening, guys, you go, time for a hat change. The hat change. That became a thing. Well, that became a the thing. The question is, how long are you going to keep doing this? And you oh, have enough hats question. to go along. Yeah, did you hear Tony's question? How, how long, long are you going to keep doing it? <laughs> I mean, I, I was going to take a break, but, you know, since everyone's saying that it's a daily thing and uh, you kind of influenced me, so I think uh, I'm going to 
just continue doing it as long as people, I, you know, I read the comments and people are saying some incredible things and yeah. how the music is uplifting their spirits yeah. and we all feel so connected in in that moment through the chat rooms. You know, so it's what like, time is it tonight? Isn't you know, that great? What time are you going on tonight? Today, you know what, I'm going to time right now. Let's say uh, 6 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. So okay. There you go. There you go. Uh, it's a, it's 6 p.m. Eastern Standard, Standard Time. Time. Let me Let's tell you something. Nice. Thanks so much right, for being with If you can't smile... If you can't make lemons out of lemonade, something's wrong with you. You got to have some joy in a situation like this. I know I do. Quarantine, baby. Club quarantine. Oh, I need to get by. Uh, uh, uh. Yes. Shout out to D-Nice. Shout out to Gail for doing the story. I tried. I, I beat I beat Gail. I beat Gail. You'll see the timestamp. I dropped mine on Sunday. Gail dropped hers on Monday. Gail! Shout out to Gail. Gail, if you're watching this, I love you, beloved queen. Doing what you're doing. And D nice. Namaste and Ashe. Thank you for bringing us joy and light through music. Thank you guys for coming. Look at the clouds. Look at the roses. Look what God can do. If he can do it for the roses, he can do it for you. Make sure you pray one for the other, especially during these sensitive times. Stay safe, be safe, and we'll see you in the next video.